Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? You doing good? You look good? You doing well? Those are some nice boots. Yeah? Look like fucking... <laughs> look like you're starring wicked in those boots. God damn. All right, that's what's up. Damn, well, you guys are all close. Everybody's got their shoes all up in here. I feel poor now. Okay. <laughs> I just have, I have old shoes on. How are you guys doing in the back? Yeah? Doing well? I've, I've been in England for like a day and a half, so excuse, excuse. Am I, am I allowed to call you scousers? Is that okay? I'm allowed to say that? Oh, my, because I was coming up here from London. I was telling my friends, like, I'm going up. They said, oh, I hope you, good luck with the scousers. And I was like, that sounded like the N-word, the way you said that. They're like, nah, you can call them scousers. I'm like, I'm not calling anybody scousers. You're going to get me fucked up up there. How are my scousers doing? Get them, get them, get the rope, get them. You know you're not allowed to say that. That's our word. <laughs> I get it. It's all I'm saying. You guys say scouser or scouser? Is it a za? Is it a za at the end? I, I feel like we came to a conclusion. That's fine. That's fair. Whatever you said works for me. Oh, man, I love being here. This is, I've, I've been here for six hours. I'm already in love, and I'm serious. That's amazing. I really like this place. It's like the nicest white people I've ever met in my life. I'm so serious. It's so nice here. You guys treat me like, like, cause I'm black American. You know what I mean? And I feel like you guys are extra nice to me because of it. Is that true? You treat me like, you treat me like a runaway slave that just got to Canada. Like that's how I feel. Everybody, you find out I'm American. They're like, oh, you're American. Are you all right, man? <laughs> We've seen the tweets. <laughs> Do you need us to send word to your family? I'm like, send word to my family. Like, they know I'm all right. I got FaceTime. They know I'm okay. <laughs> oh man, I've been living in London for a year. It's way better up here. It's way better. I, I feel like, I, but I'm growing up since I've moved to England. I've grown up a lot. Like I say, lovely more. I never said lovely before I came here. Dude. Usually, where I come from, things are dope as fuck. When something's nice, we say, "Yo, that's dope as fuck." That's what we say. I was in Guernsey a couple weeks ago for a show. Have you ever been to Guernsey? Yeah, you've been. It's not dope as fuck. You know what it is? Fucking lovely. That's what it is. <laughs> Lovely as shit. <laughs> I went to Victor Hugo's house. That's not dope. That's lovely. Victor Hugo's house is lovely. Go there. <laughs> oh, man. I've been traveling England, man. I, I really, it's weird. I was in Bournemouth. I feel like I know you guys now. Bournemouth is fucking strange. I've seen two pregnant women smoking cigarettes in Bournemouth. I swear to God. And, and this is how I know I'm becoming English, because the first time I saw a pregnant woman smoking a cigarette in Bournemouth, I was like, oh my gosh, she's pregnant and she's smoking. And I talked to the security guard and he's like, I know, man, it's weird, what are you going to do? And then the second time I saw someone pregnant smoking a cigarette, I was just like, Bournemouth. Like I thought, <laughs> like I just wrote it off. Bournemouth, you know how it is. He'll make it, he's all right. My grandmother smoked. Crack, actually. <laughs> Oh man, it's fucking great being here, dude. I'm single though, so I'm trying to make it work. You think I can get, you think I can do all right here? I gotta tell you, you guys have some big booty ladies in, in fucking Liverpool. Are you known for that? No. Is that true? Because no one warned me of that, and I feel like my, my black guy radar is just like, oh my God, butt cheeks everywhere. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to handle it. Guys and the girls, you got it too, man. I bet you got something going on. I, I mean, I don't see it, but that seat's telling me, like, you know. <laughs> Oh, man, it's fucked. But so, uh, actually, so a nice woman, I was doing some shopping today. Uh, you guys have, like, a lot of vintage stores. I like this place because you're trying to be cultured. There's, like, a little fake Mexican man singing mariachi. <laughs> on, you know what I'm talking about? The guy down the street. Okay, I don't know if you guys seen that mariachi guy with the guitar. He is not speaking Mexican. He is not Spanish. That's not Spanish. I speak Spanish. That motherfucker is from Greece or some shit. I don't know. It's a goddamn gypsy. That is not a Mexican. Just so we're all on the same page. You need some more Spanish speakers if you think that's a Mexican. That's not at all. <laughs> a goddamn tan Romanian is what that is, all right? He's stealing somebody's internet over there. That's all he's doing. <laughs> I was doing shopping today and someone told me I look like Jeremy Meeks. Do you know who that is? He's the mugshot model. Yeah, did you say, oh my God, you're like, you do look like him. Really, I, it's, it's just because I'm a black dude with green eyes. That's the only thing. It's like me saying you look like Tom Cruise. I look nothing like him, dude. But he's got green eyes, he's black, so I guess I look like him. And I'll, I'll take the compliment. He's a model, so that's not too bad, right? But he's famous because of a mugshot. 
I don't know how I feel about being compared to a criminal. That's a little strange, you know? Like on one hand, it's nice that you think I'm attractive, but I can't believe you think I'm that tough. Like I could never go to prison. I know, like I might be a London six, but I'm a prison 10, God damn it. Like I would do well. I would get all the dick in prison, all the dick I want, for sure. I know where I'm wanted and it's fucking jail. They would love me. Just like, you think I'm going to prison? I follow all the laws, goddammit. Fuck that. Hell no. I am not that tough. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm kind of newly single. I was living with a girl in Los Angeles before I came here. That didn't work out. It was cool living with her for a little bit. I don't know if there's any couples in the house. You, got, you, you guys together? You live together? How's that been working out? <laughs> he said, up to now. I don't know. She pays half the rent. I want to keep this going. <laughs> That's cool. That's what's up. I, it was working for me. You know what the best part about living with a weird lady or a man, whatever, but does she ever walk around the house in just a T-shirt? Like no child? Yeah? It, not in that one? You got your own. Oh, not in this state. No, you, you're comfy, right? Just a, It's sexy. Girls, that shit looks great. Right, men? Just a T-shirt, no trousers. It looks good, especially when it's your shirt. Oh, that's a sexy look. One day I came out the bathroom, just a t-shirt on. Have you ever seen a man? A man? Have you ever seen a man in just a t-shirt? No tra- It's fucking disgusting. It's what it is. It's awful. You look like an adult baby. Like, you're just not allowed. We're not allowed. Don't ever do that. You'll lose half the rent. That's what you- You've done it? No! Oh my god. You look like a lost hobo. Like, you're not allowed. You can't do it. <laughs> if you look at anybody who's with a guy right now, watch him put on his clothes. We always go trousers first. We never do pants first. Or uh, shirt first, sorry. I know, I forget it. You guys call pants or underwear here, right? Trousers. Or you guys are like, nah, we don't. Tr- pants are optional in Liverpool. We don't know. <laughs> it was nice, man. It was nice being with her. We broke up. But I think, I think she loved me. You guys say I love you? Yeah? Every day? <laughs> oh, did she say, oh, you need love. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's, what'd she, she got so much love? Yeah? You do need love. Well. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, if you want a, if you want a com- comedian who makes, you know, a little bit of money. Apparently, I look like a sexy criminal. That's all I'm saying. I'm just, I'm here for you. Not at all. Or you. It doesn't matter, really. I'm a little fickle. I don't know anybody here, so, you know. God damn. What, newly single? That sounds like a story. <laughs> newly, like what, like since this morning? Or, okay, well, fair enough. How'd you fuck it up? What happened? Did you fuck Ben? Did you fuck Ben too? Did you fuck him too? God damn Ben. Ben ruining relationships. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think, well, I have felt love. I, we never said it like you guys, which is great. You got to affirm it. I felt it, though, because, like, my girl had bad hay fever allergies. So during hay fever season, she came up here to visit me. She couldn't breathe through her nose at all, at all. You know, it's tough being an adult with a runny nose in public. That's nothing that you ever want to be. It doesn't matter what you're buying. No one takes you seriously. I'll take five bottles of Dom Perignon. It's like, sir, can you just go home? You're disgusting. Can you please leave? But she would do that. She'd still go out with me. It didn't matter. Here's how I know she loved me. She couldn't breathe through her nose the whole month of June. Yet, she still went down on me the entire time. That's love. If someone's clapping, they get it. <laughs> I've never sucked a dick, but I can imagine. I can imagine it's easier if you breathe through your nose while you do it. Read that in Cosmo, pro tip, breathe through your nose. You could have kept your man. Breathe through your nose. Well, you're doing it. It's better for everybody involved. She sounded like a serial killer the whole month of June. That's what I'm trying to... She'd be in bed. <sighs> Eric. Do you still want me to go down on you? I was like, I think. I definitely don't want you to suffocate. Please don't die. Going down on me. It might be manslaughter. I think that'd be manslaughter. I'm just happy she's not fucking white. Where I come from, it'd be murder where I come from. It'd be fucking murder if she was white. I'm going to hear that in court. (laughs) 
He killed her with his giant black penis, Your Honor. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> he waited till cherry blossom season and then he pounced. He's a menace to society. <laughs> we have to get him off the streets. We call him the black esophagus in the precinct. That's what we call him. He's awful. <laughs> Oh, man. I've been trying to uh, figure out, like, th so I was in L.A. last month. Apparently, in America, we have this thing now called the gay spectrum. And they say everybody's on the spectrum. Like, let's say 100 is super straight. Fuck that shit. And zero is like, oh, my God, more. Like, that's, that's, that's the spectrum. That's the range. Zero to 100. Where are you at? What do you think? No idea? All right, fair enough. You can experiment. There's still time. That's okay. 60? What do you think? Zero, zero, love it, 100, never. What do you think? 90? All right, so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. I don't know. Because here's the thing. I've never had those thoughts, ever. You know, I've never thought, like, oh, maybe you got, like, I've never fancied it. Nothing, nothing. But there's four billion dudes on the planet. Four billion? Like, I'm thinking I'd fuck six or seven. Like, there's got to be six or seven <laughs> that can woo me. You know what I mean? Six or seven? God, dude, let's be realistic, man. Right? Like if Brad Pitt walked in the door and he was like, hey, Eric Patrick, suck my dick. I'd be like, dude, Brad Pitt, fuck you. That was rude, right? <laughs> but if Brad Pitt, like, courted me, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? If Brad Pitt was trying, if he came in after the show and he was like, hey, Eric, listen, I don't know why I'm feeling this way. I know you're not into guys. There's something about your eyes. It reminds me of a beach in Marrakesh. I'm just saying... <laughs> I know it's as weird for me too. I, but maybe if you just want to take the jet, we can go down to Morocco. My friend Raul, he has a shisha bar, <laughs> some coconut oil, and we can just sit and get to know each other. And then he like touched my face or something sexy. Oh, I'm fucking Brad Pitt. Like that's what's gonna happen. Brad Pitt gonna get the draws. <laughs> I think that's how it happens. I think that's how you get to six or seven. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm supposed to be doing, I got, I, I, these are all new jokes, by the way. Thanks, man. I can't, this is way too much confidence. I, uh, I'm like, are these, I just wrote these like two days ago. I, I'm trying, okay, so here's a new joke. Uh, I, I think I don't, like, I'm, I'm trying to be tougher, but I'm ticklish. I don't think you can be tough if you're ticklish, right? Like, that's not, I can't be like, yo, get the fuck out of my face, and then I'm thwarted by a finger to the armpit. Like, that feels, what about now? It's like, okay, stop, 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 stop. Stop, you win, you win. <laughs> But at the same time, I couldn't trust someone that wasn't ticklish. Have you ever met that person who's just, like, not ticklish at all? Anybody in here like that? You're not ticklish? No? You are? Not at all. You have no emotions. <laughs> not at all? Nothing? I feel like you could see a dead puppy on the road and just be like, hey, what's for dinner? Like, I feel like that's, <laughs> that's who you are. <laughs> you know, I'm craving a hot dog all of a sudden. But here's what I was thinking. Because of that, that's the parameters for, like, being prime minister. It should be the prerequisite. Like, I want a prime minister that's not ticklish. That's what I want. I want the guy in Brexit negotiations that can just get a pedicure stone-faced. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, like, give it your best, motherfucker. Go ahead. No deal. I don't know. All right. That's the best I got. I'm not getting paid, people, so I'm going to look at my book. Oh, yeah, I got one more. And then I'll get out of here. I talked about the gay spectrum, right? Yeah. <laughs> we did the hay fever. I got tricked the other day. I was, uh... I live next to a Tesco Express. You guys ever been there? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was a grocery store. It's not. Apparently, it's where fruit goes to die. That's Tesco Express. <laughs> Just a big-ass fruit cemetery, the whole place. <laughs> this used to be Apple. It was a good fruit. Give it to you for 20p. What do you say? <laughs> oh, good. All right. I thought that was a little classist. But, I mean, I'm not like some, not some rich guy. I just want fruit that's not dead. I think that's fair. I think that's fair, I'm giving you money. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, I think that's it, man. I only got like a minute. You guys have a good time? Yeah? Yeah? Hey, I'm Eric Patrick. Thank you. LAUGHTER <laughs>